which could have an impact. The fundamental tenant of, of road safety is managing the speed. Uh, we know that if we can like, reduce speeds by about 10% across the road network, we're likely to see reductions in fatalities of around 30 to 40%. So that's a, that's a huge message that we need to get out there. Can I just pick you up on that alcohol issue? How many accidents do have alcohol present at the time? Well, we know with, um, with the fatalities, around 30% of those fatalities we're seeing either unrestrained, so no seatbelt use, and alcohol on board, so that's a, you know consider it's still very high. Mm. Uh, but I, clearly, that's the fatalities that we're seeing. Yeah. With speed, of course, there are usually the, the double demerit point campaigns over breaks like Easter. Is, is, should we take it one step further and cut uh, speed limits, certainly on country roads? Should governments be considering that? Look, as, as I said, the 10% reduction in speeds across the network would have those significant benefits. Mm. Um, but, but it's voluntary. But if you, you mandate it through laws, would that have a greater punch a greater impact? Look, it, it could, but I guess the reality there is it's, it's as only as effective as the enforcement is. And yeah. given this huge road network across Australia, that is a challenge for police to be everywhere at every time. Now, we have technologies that have assisted us in terms of the speed cameras, and they are very, very effective. Um, we, we know from sort of evaluations we've done here in Melbourne, you know, around 47% reductions in casualty crashes through red light cameras. Now, so there's a lot of those sort of elements that we could really ramp up to ensure that we maintain those or, or, or lower speed levels around around the country certainly. When we talk about you looking at other ways that we could be encouraging driving safely beyond these constant campaigns, what do you see into the future as a way of helping the, the behaviour change? Well the future is, is incredibly exciting. I mean with the informa information, um, we've got what we call ITS which are intelligent transport systems which, which are information and communication technologies. Potentially what we're seeing is with the wireless communications the opportunity now for, for vehicles to talk to each other and talk to the infrastructure. So ultimately anywhere in Australia, you know, and down the track, and we're looking to trial some of these initiatives, vehicles would be able to go onto these freeways, they'd lock into the technology, they would travel at a distance appropriate between vehicles for the speed, that even maintain, you know, constant speed. So the spin-off from that is not, you know, clearly safety is the key element of that, but also we can see, we can sort of tackle congestion, the, the emissions from vehicles as well. So it's an it's a all-of-government approach we need, but the success is, from that is, is could be phenomenal. Stand by, stand by. <laughs> and that was Mark Stevenson uh, a little early. And uh, be warned, right around the country, those blitzes are going to be taking place yeah. as people set off this evening for the long break. Now, after standing in front of a classroom.